Hello everybody, Pinstripe here and welcome to Pinstripe's mod version 2.0. You'll find a link to this mod in the description. The download link is there, the mod is officially live and it will also include a readme file that will have some things included, uh, some helpful tips for those of you who are kind of new to emulators and some things to look out for whilst you're playing. But we're going to be going over this mod in today's video. Um, the footage on screen is actually from hard mode of this mod, so don't worry, it's not going to be this crazy uh, from the get-go. Um, but to bring that point up, this mod is going to be much harder compared to version 1.0. One of the biggest changes uh, in this mod is the fact that throughout the entire campaign, throughout all of the 24 brand new missions, there will only be two missions where you'll have a full squad of pigs, so you'll have an entire you know, five pig team, and that will be mission eight because that one can't technically be edited uh, without the uh, game crashing. And mission 25 because, well, you kind of need a full team on that mission. It's going to be pretty difficult with the hard enemies and, and whatnot. But yeah, the biggest dynamic and one of the biggest changes in this mod is the fact that you will constantly be changing between having uh, two pigs on your team, three pigs on your team, four pigs on your team maximum and a couple of solo missions thrown in there as well. So the biggest thing for the player going from mission to mission will be which pigs am I going to use for this mission specifically. So if you've only got a team of two, do I go with a healer and a heavy weapons? Do I go with a sniper and an engineer? There's just so many different combinations and so many different ways that you can achieve victory on different missions. I'm hoping that it will again uh, increase replayability and make things a bit more interesting and vibrant the more that you play through the campaign. Of course, one of the other biggest changes is the fact that we now have brand new mission briefing screens, and that goes hand in hand with how each level looks. Um, every single mission is completely different, or near enough completely different, to version 1.0 of this mod. There are some missions that are slightly similar, but will have some different changes as well. But the biggest point of having mission briefing screens, and having new ones for that matter, is adding context to each mission. Of course, you know, when you play the vanilla campaign, you have a mission briefing, it tells you what's going on, and you go ahead and do it. But most players, you know, most veteran players have played through the campaign a million times. So having new briefing screens, having new context there is, again, hopefully going to make things fun for you guys as well. Adding detail to these levels, both in terms of what the mission is about, what your objective is, what you're protecting, what you're fighting against, what's coming up, you know, what specific pigs you need to look out for, all kinds of things like that is included in this mod and indeed in this campaign. Of course I don't want to give too much away in this video in regards to uh, what happens in certain missions and what you are going to find out and see and things going on. That there, there is a lot going on and there's a lot you need to uh, I guess deal with as you go through the campaign both uh, in regards to how many enemies you're going to be facing, uh, how difficult it is and like I said, the strategies that you need to try and develop uh, based around those missions. But yeah, the most fun part for me was just adding some kind of context and giving a new lease of life to the Hogs of War universe. I mean, yeah, okay, you can only do so much with specific missions, and there are some that are, I guess, weaker than others, but that's only because uh, the Hogs of War map editor is still in the same state as it was when I made version 1.0, but I'm hoping that this will be a big improvement again because of the mission briefing screens, uh, giving new context new enemies. Uh, sadly, there's no new weapons, of course, or, or anything huge. Um, but yeah, I, I just hope that this can once again provide a fresh take on the single player campaign. One thing I can say is that random crates are still very much included and are at the heart of this mod. But based off of the things I've already said in this video, they do fit a lot more compared to version 1.0. Because I know a lot of people were saying that, you know, sometimes it can be way too easy. If you pick up a random crate, it gives you like three super air bursts. But you are, if you pick up that crate, you are definitely going to need it. It's not going to be super easy, especially when you go through hard mode. A couple of other things I want to quickly go over before this video ends. For those of you who are completely new to emulators and I guess this mod series of mine for Hogs of War, I would recommend downloading EPSXE's uh, 2.0.5 version because that is the main uh, emulator that this mod has been tested on. Um, despite me play testing this mod, I have actually noticed that the emulator will sometimes crash if you leave the game paused on certain missions for too long, so just bear that in mind. 
I would advise utilizing the F1 save state and F3 load state function on your keyboard when you use the emulator. It's a lot faster than having to flitter through the memory cards and can generally be a lot faster in preventing any progress lost during your campaign due to any sort of crashes. So at any point when you're in the game on the emulator, if you press F1, it will create an instant save state. And if you press F3, it will instantly load that save state. If any random crashes do occur at any point during your play, please report them to me as soon as you can, detailing the exact point it occurred and on what mission. You can at me in the Discord or PM me on Discord as well. Now, this mod has not been tested on any other graphical settings besides the default ones that I used on EPSXE's emulator version 2.0.5, the one I just mentioned. Uh, you can increase the graphical quality if you want to, but only do it at your own risk. And yeah, overall though guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I'm sorry if it was kind of vague. I know that there are certain details you would love to know, but you just have to play the mod to find them out for yourself. If you have any issues along the way, like I said, if you find any crashes or if there's any crazy bugs, then do let me know. Uh, and of course, if you are looking for a tutorial as to how to... Uh, set up an emulator you can find a link to that tutorial in the description or of course if you're having any other issues then feel free to come and join us in the hogs of war discord again link in the description so enjoy the mod guys let me know what you think feedback is always welcome and i will catch you all later for the next one Best.